best, best variable in recovery, the best tool, the best thing you can do for yourself if you're trying to reset and break old habits and bust out of chains and break out of habits that are holding you back and that are preventing you from growing into a better person and becoming the person that you would like to be is removing yourself from the environment that you are in. I'm talking like it's tough, it's hard, but this will save your life if you're at the end of your rope, man, and you're just, you've tried everything else. That's a variable, that's a huge variable right there to getting clean and getting sober and resetting and breaking old habits and bad patterns of behavior that you have been you know, stuck in routinely. And it's just all about like leaving that environment, leaving the people, leaving the scenery, leaving it all, leaving the old jobs, leaving the your old bank, your old grocery store, leave everything. Go like, go find a new town, go find a new city, go find, go find a friend that lives far away and go stay with them. Go check, check, go check it out. But it's great to get away from the city. It's good to get away from that, that intensity and that rat race and that anxiety that the city can create, especially our society these days. There's a lot coming at us. There's alcohol everywhere. There's coffee everywhere. There's tobacco everywhere. And you just, you know, there's a lot of a lot of stuff being thrown at us. There's a lot of voices and, and, and options. And, oh, I should do this. I should do that. I should go there. I should do this, that. Oh, by this standard, I'm a loser. By this standard, I'm, I'm a failure. Disconnect from all of that. Cut all of that out. Leave behind everything society told you. Try, try to go back to our ancestors. Try to go back to the old times. A little more simpler, but disconnect from all this crap we have going on now. We have so much coming at us these days. So it's great if you can find a nice little town or a village, a nice, a nice town you can go to, maybe a suburb or whatever, but... But yeah, go somewhere where you can easily access nature. And I was able to leave all my friends and family and everybody behind. I was, it was to where I was hurting everybody in my life. Everybody I cared about, everybody I got close to, I was hurting. And that, you know, made me want to remove myself. I got suicidal. There was some suicidal behavior. There was some behavior. There were some thoughts. But I tried my best to re to fire up a spark inside of me. And I had to tell myself, you know, I, I came here on this earth alone. I'm going to leave alone. There's a very natural loneliness to being on this planet, to being a human. There's a, there's a natural loneliness that we all have. And it's part of being human. And with that, I was able to kind of have a clean slate and kind of visualize a clean slate and like learn about nature, learn about science, learn about living things, learn about the body, learn about psychology, the mind, diet, eating, the food we're eating. We, we eat terribly. And if you can you know, do this whole journey and reset yourself. It's great. And you can kind of look at everything with a fresh approach as, and especially food and diet. I mean, we are what we eat. And a lot of the times we're suffering from anxiety because we're not eating. People are not eating. And if they are, it's, it's crap. It's processed food. So re redevelop your outlook on on your intake, on what you're putting into your body. Because sometimes you have to eat for your mind. Not so much, oh, this doesn't taste good. This taste, oh, that's so delicious. You know, sometimes you're eating not for your palate or your tongue, but for your mind and body to be stable and consistent and, and you know, there for you at work 
and there for you when you're alone and when you're exercising and things like that. And, um, you know, just, you know, get into some Buddhism, get into some of that, you know, just natural healing and that, I don't want to say the hippie stuff, but it's like, it's natural stuff. And maybe that alone means hippie to some people. But like I said, you need to cut away from all these things that you've been programmed and these things you've been told to believe. That's part of it too, man. If you really want a reset, you have to mentally go inside and push away and disconnect and let go of all kinds of things you've been holding on forever. It's three grams a day. I did a gram of mushrooms, psilocybin mushrooms, in the morning. One gram. Boom, an hour later, okay, I'm feeling a little better. My aches and pains are gone. I have a little energy. I have some serotonin and dopamine. I'm getting a little creative. Um, I would like to move my body. I would like to go outside and breathe fresh air. I would like to write. I would like to read. I would love to draw. I would like to play music. You know, I would like to learn a new something. These are things that can happen with a little bit of psilocybin in your brain. And what this medicine is doing and how and why is this is illegal is beyond me. But this medicine is turning on parts of our brain that we are not using in everyday life. In the default mode network, the DFM, that's what our brains are constantly in. It's just constantly the same stuff. Work, eat, bills, work, eat, bills, food, blah, 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 food, sex, sleeping, sex, food, work, sleeping, same stuff, the same things over and over again. You know, so this breaks out of that. It breaks you out of the default mode network. It turns on some more parts of your brain and it'll help you analyze your past. That's our main thing for the first couple days of microdosing. You're just going to want to stack your days, man. Day one. Oh my God, I made it. I made it to 8 p.m. Great. Smoke some weed. Drink some Kratom. Maybe. Or just, you know, go exercise. Read a book. Go to sleep. But cut yourself out of all these activities. Disconnect. Mentally, you're going to have to detach from a lot. But I'm telling you, it's, it's just going to be wonderful. And it's just going to help you analyze your life. It's going to help you look at the momentum behind you and what's driving you. It's going to help you analyze your life just like a filing cabinet. It's going to allow you to kind of organize things and visualize everything. And then you can look for patterns. Then you can look for lessons. Then you can see where it all went wrong. And you can start to identify these habits that are holding you back. And you can chip away at those and start creating new, better, healthier habits for yourself. Um, I, I, ser I hope this helps anybody out there. And like I said, I'm, this is strictly for helping people. This is harm reduction. I am not a doctor. This is what helped me. I, I disconnected from doctors. I cut myself away from traditional hospital medicine, healthcare. I'm not trying to go be one of these people that's on 12 different medications going to the hospital every fucking week you know oh i cannot hang out oh i cannot go out of town i doctor that my doctor this my doctor that the hospital this and that take control of your life and your brain and your mind a patient cured is a patient lost I just want you to go forward and know that a better life is possible and it's within your reach. But you have to go inside and that's what psilocybin can help you do. It can help you go inside, face those demons, and extract the lessons. Leave behind the bad, take what you must, and go forward and push through the darkness, man. We push through these dark, dark places but we have to realize and believe eventually if we try and we put in the work, we will push out that other side and it'll open up into a world where we're grateful for the small things.
I love you, and I miss you, and I hope this helps you. Um, yeah, I will be producing and making more content this year. I just need you to have a special day and um, reach out for any questions, comments, or concerns. Please subscribe and follow me through this journey. I love you. Thank you so much.